Hey you guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to fix your Google Maps app when it's not working. So have your device on hand as we're going to be using the Google Maps mobile app. That way you can follow along as we go through. Let's jump right in. One of the most common reasons for your Google Maps to not be working has to do with internet connection. So as simple as it sounds, you're just going to wanna to make sure that you do have an internet connection. To do this, you're just going to go into your settings, into Wi-Fi, and then just make sure that you're connected to a stable network. So the network you're connected to will normally give you an idea of whether the network is a strong connection or not. Sometimes, however, it will say that you're connected to a Wi-Fi network when you aren't actually connected to it. So a good way to just ensure that your Wi-Fi is working is to just do a bit of a restart on it. And you can, I, you can do this by either turning off and on your Wi-Fi you'll wanna wait about 15 to 20 seconds in between turning it on and off. Once it's on, it will either automatically connect to the Wi-Fi you were connected to, or you'll have to go in and manually reconnect. Another way to sort of restart your Wi-Fi is to forget the network that you're connected to and then reconnect that way. So to forget a network, you're just gonna to go to the eye icon on the right-hand side. You'll click this, and then at the very top, you'll find the forget this network option. When you click that, it's just gonna make sure that you wanna forget it and you'll click forget. And then you'll find that Wi-Fi back in the, the networks here. You'll just click it and type in the password. Hey, if you're finding this video helpful, you can also support the channel through Super Stickers. This helps fund the channel and it also helps us continue creating videos for you guys. Thanks, and let's get back to the video. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that your cellular is on and working. So if you weren't using Wi-Fi and you were using your cellular, the same things could be happening there. It could say that you're connected to your cellular and you're not. So you're gonna go back into your settings, go into cellular, and we have a couple options here. So the top option, cellular data, you're just simply gonna make sure that that's on, or you can give it a restart by turning that toggle off waiting about 15 seconds, turning it back on. Below this, you have the cellular data options. And so when you click this, what you're also gonna wanna make sure is that your data roaming is on. This just means that when you're using another app to pull from your data, it's going to allow that instead of relying on a Wi-Fi network to use this app with. The next thing you're going to wanna do is restart the app. On an iPhone, this is pretty simple. So if my Google Maps was open, I would simply slide up and then X out of it like that so that it's forced to restart and reopen. If you find that your Google Maps isn't working even after that, you're going to want to restart your iPhone. So it may not be an issue with the app itself. This might have to do with your phone and a really safe option all the time is to restart your phone. To do this, you're just going to press and hold that power button and the volume button and that slide to power off is going to pop up. You'll slide to power off and then Press and hold that power button once again until the Apple logo pops up and your phone is going to turn back on. The next thing you're going to want to do if your app still isn't working after this is go into the App Store and make sure that there aren't any updates available for this app. So to do this, you're going to launch the App Store and click on your icon in the top right corner. And we're going to scroll down to the upcoming automatic updates. So here you'll find all of the apps um, that are ready for an update and if you scroll through and find the app that you're looking for or the app that you're trying to use is ready for an update you can update it manually by clicking update you can also you can update them all at once just by clicking that once it's updated try launching it again and see if it works the next thing you're going to want to do if it's still not working is delete the app and re-download it to delete an app on an iPhone you're just going to press and hold and remove app it's gonna double check that you do wanna remove it. And you have a couple options here. So you can remove from the home screen or you can delete the app. You're going to wanna delete it. You wanna get rid of the data in your phone. You want it gone. And then you're gonna re-download it, hopefully so that any of the issues that were happening before were sort of restarted for you. Another thing you can do is uh, use incognito mode on Google Maps. What this is gonna do is just make it so that your Google Maps has less things um, that it's running on and less storage and information that it's downloading and using all the time. So incognito mode is just gonna make it so that no data stored in your history. So to turn on incognito mode, you're going to launch your app, click on your icon in the top right corner, 
and it's going to be the first one right below your account. Uh, turn on incognito mode and it's going to give you just a bunch of information. If you've never turned it on before, then it's just going to let you know that when incognito mode is on, maps on this device will not save your browser or search history in your account or send notifications. It's not going to update your location history or shared location. And it's not going to use your activity to personalize maps. It's going to make it so that things load faster and maybe start working again. If you want to turn this off, you're just going to go back into your icon um, and you can just turn off incognito mode. Another thing you can do to help get your app back up and working or working better is to improve the location accuracy. Uh, and so to do this, you're going to tap your location. So that blue dot right there. And then here, it's telling me right now my location accuracy is low. So it's going to say that I can use my camera to calibrate and improve my location accuracy. So I'm just simply going to hit that calibrate button. And this is going to bring up my iPhone camera that I can then use to scan buildings. And that's just going to improve the accuracy and hopefully get my app back up and running and working properly. The next thing I'm going to want to do is store my maps for offline use. This is just going to make it so that I can use my maps when I'm offline. And to do this, I'm going to launch my Google Maps. I'm going to hit my profile icon in the top right corner. And then I'm, I'm going to find offline maps right here. I'll click this and I can select my own map. So basically, I'm just going to select an area. I can zoom out and I can zoom in. And then I'm going to hit download on the right hand side download the selected area that I've chosen that I can then use uh, offline as well. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that one or all of these steps worked for you and your app is back up and working. Thanks again for tuning in. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.